Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful pond in Mill Creek Trail. Uh, it's just about five minutes away from where I live here in Orangeville, Ontario. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Isaiah 8 verses 13 to 14. It says, Make the Lord of Heaven's armies holy in your life. He is the one you should fear. He is the one who should make you tremble. He will keep you safe. Here's my poem. The one you must fear. When you become a believer of Christ, no one else can threaten your life. He is there to protect and guide you. Don't fear anything that is untrue. You must never fear the lies of the enemy. Fear only the Lord of heaven's armies. He is the only one you must please and revere. When you do, you will overcome all other fears. Here's my essay. So many people live in fear. It literally robs them of joy and peace. I lived over four decades fearing so many things. Fear of rejection and abandonment were top of my list. The Bible says that as a man thinks, so is he in Proverbs 23, 7. So the more you think of what you're afraid of, the more these fears will manifest in your life. It was so guard, I was so guarded and protecting myself with so much effort and didn't realize that at that time that I didn't have peace and joy. I was so hard on myself and others because I was afraid to be rejected and forsaken. We must only fear one person, the Lord. It is a godly fear because it protects us from doing anything that will displease Him. Prayer. Thank you for giving me a godly fear, Lord. Reflection. Why is revering the Lord and loving Him above all else important to a Christian's life? Well, can you imagine someone who is fearless? If you're fearless, including fearless from God, then um, you will probably be risking everything, a lot of things. You know, you wouldn't care about um, what God will think. You wouldn't care about what other people will say. You will just go and do anything. You will not think about what your relatives will be thinking if you put your life in danger and all kinds of stuff. So... There is only one kind of fear that is um, good for you, and that is fearing the Lord. Well, by fearing the Lord, it doesn't mean you have to be afraid of God. It means that you have to be afraid of uh, displeasing the Lord or uh, not following His um, commands because the commands that He has given us is for us to be safe to be protected from the enemy. So that is the only thing you must fear because that is the only fear that will guarantee you a life of freedom, a life of, uh, uh, of love, a life of salvation. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a fearless life Fear, fear from, from the lies of the enemy, fear from the worldly fear, but have a godly fear because a fearing God will make you closer to Him and make you want to please Him always. God loves you so much, and so do I.